Angelos TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. And now to Rev. Michael Sass. Praise the Lord. You know, today is a wonderful day. As usual, this is the day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and to be glad. We want to talk about waiting upon the Lord. In Isaiah, we are told, in Isaiah 41 and verse, 30, uh, verse 31, the Bible tells us that those who wait upon the Lord shall be strengthened. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Even though they run, they will not be weary. Because they waited upon the Lord. Now, what does it really mean to wait upon the Lord? To wait upon the Lord is to be courageous in the face of adversity. And where are you drawing your courage from? You are drawing your courage from the truth that God is always there with you. You are drawing your strength from the reality of the ever abiding presence of God and from the reality of the ever abiding promises of God. You know, he says, I will never leave you, neither shall I forsake you. This enables you to be courageous even in the face of adversity. It means you become strong even when everything is beating up against you. It means staying strong in the faith. It means being patient. It means you are not going to despair and lose heart. The battle is real. Your enemies look like they are triumphing. But you still hold on and you say, just like the like job of old, you say, I know my Redeemer liveth. I know that he is going to come through for me. You are like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They say, oh king, throw us in the fire. For we are not scared of that because one thing we do know, our God will deliver us. So to wait upon the Lord is to rely entirely on the Lord. To trust in him. You are not leaning on your own understanding. You are leaning on God. Psalm 27 and verse 4. This is what it says. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. He has given you, he has mentioned the word wait twice in this verse. Let me read it again. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart Take courage. Yes. Wait for the Lord. Because he will still come through for you. He's not going to let your enemies triumph over you. Yes, it might look like they are succeeding. But did you know that God will just, dis, I mean, confuse them and defeat them? In their own game. You remember what the devil did. When he took the lot of glory. And you know what. What we learn. From Jesus. You know when the devil took Jesus. On the cross. 
and had those guys crucify him, drive nails through his arms or through his hands, and pierced his side until the Lord of glory said, Father, in my hands I commit my spirit, and he gave his last breath. You know, in the mind of the devil, he had conquered Jesus. But you all understand, children of God. You understand what happened. On the third day, Jesus rose again. So your enemies may look like they are succeeding. They may look like they have actually buried you. They might look like actually they have put a huge stone over you to make sure that your memory shall no longer be there. But I want you to know this. The Lord with the resurrection power of Jesus Christ is going to remove every barrier, every hindrance, every weight, everything the enemy has put on you to crush you. The Lord is going to blow it out of your way and you are going to succeed. So I just want to encourage you to know the importance of waiting upon the Lord. So make it your aim today to wait upon the Lord, to be patient with God. I'll give you these scriptures we end this class. In Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 12, the Bible says, Don't be slack like others, but be imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises of God. So, Waiting upon the Lord is being patient, knowing that God is going to come through for you. So it is important for us to really wait upon the Lord. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. And I thank you for this teaching of the word. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you help my brothers and my sisters particularly those who are going through adversity, who are almost giving up, do realize the importance of waiting upon the Lord, taking refuge in God, making an abode in God, knowing that God is the most secure fortress and defense. So Lord, I pray that you reveal yourself to your people. They may, grow, they may draw closer to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This broadcast was brought to you by Angelos TV. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on the subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.